Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. So Steve Bozzer here, July the 29th, 2016. And I've just played what is going to be my last competitive round, or singles competitive round, for, or indefinitely, potentially my last competitive round ever. So, quite a strange day, and um, I could say that... I don't know, I, it, you would think that I would be more emotional, or it's it's quite a big deal. I'm 29 years old, and I've played competitive golf since I was, or well, let's say I started playing golf at 11, we're talking probably 13, 14, 15, definitely I'm like into my golf by then, so I've been playing golf competitively for almost 15 years, so it's actually quite a big deal today. Um, obviously going to Thailand they don't have the the events like we have over here so yeah I'm I thought it would it, it is a big deal and I thought it would be more of a big deal it's not really sunk in right now um, this is a bit of a last event but not last event because it's my last sort of single stroke play um, I am playing uh, a four ball bettable with Picard uh, on Monday. So again, that's probably why I'm not feeling that fussed about it. Plus the fact, um, as I've been so busy and I've been injured with my ankle, I haven't really been playing a great deal and I've kind of fallen out of the routine of playing. So um, it, if anybody or everybody that's played any sport knows, you know, when the, people say like you're not match ready or you're a bit rusty usually it takes three or four events to sort of get back in the swing of it and do I haven't done that so it, it's uh, th that's probably why I'm I'm not missing it at the minute because I, I haven't been doing it and I I've been so distracted doing other things mainly my masters but yeah I played played down at Truro sh shot a okay score four four over was four over through nine, and to be honest, it played quite nicely. Um, it, I, I liked the layout, but I was playing it blind. I, I played it with my gran, like my gran was a member there, and I played there when I was like probably 12, 13 years old. So I'm effectively playing it blind. Loads of um, sort of dog leggy shots with fairways, and it, it like tilted. So I I hit a couple drivers on the front nine which were, like, the, the first one I took it way over the corner, and to be honest, I could have done it with hybrid and just went through the whole lot and ended up making double. And um, a few holes later, I kind of did the same. It was pretty conservative. You know, I've been taking a lot of heat, um, a lot of heat on social media about my course management when I played at Turnbury. So I played up there with Mark and hit driver and lost quite a few balls. But to be honest, I was injured. I haven't been playing at all, and it's a beautiful course. If it wasn't any, if it wasn't that course, I wouldn't have even played. And quite frankly, I wanted to hit driver. I hadn't, I hadn't been playing. I've been so busy with my uni stuff, and I'd, I'd had a call through, and it, my head was spinning. I like hitting driver, just like people like hitting driver on the range. So, I mean, was taking an awful lot of heat, and I think sometimes people don't realise that the V logs aren't competitive. Doing that, it's it's meant to be fun. Do you mean Crossfield's giving it that? And then I've got people doing that in the other ear, and it's a bit. I, if I I can hit iron, guys. If I wanted, I didn't want it. I wanted to whack it. But yeah, so I I, I felt like Troy very much a plotter's course, and I, I I I did a pretty good job. Um, it was a real nice. The last is a drivable par four, and I I smashed it right into the middle of the green with driver sort of two putt birdie to finish and so that that was it that was a nice touch um it was nice uh, nice way to finish if that's how i am finishing but like i said it, it will be it will be interesting on monday because monday's a qualifier so if we don't qualify not only will be that will definitely be the last event i play it will be the last event when there should have been another one so again, it, it will be interesting to see how I how I feel, but it it, it you also you get like when I finished amateur stuff, I didn't I thought I would miss it. I thought I'd miss certain competitions, and I didn't to be honest. 
but I think it's because I had the opportunity to kind of apply my trade into a new environment. So it might it might be a case that going away for a few years and then coming back, I might I might feel like. But again, I I can't I can't really comment on that because this is this is a massive massive career decision and life decision going to to Bangkok and I I really don't know what will happen from there. I, mean, I could be over there a year, two years, a week, even if it's too hot. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know where the next move will be. I don't know what opportunities will arise from it. So I, I think possibly once I get over there, possibly, well, I hope I'll be able to play a little bit. And it might be then when I'm, but I feel like I'm playing pretty good now. I just haven't, I just haven't put the work in. And you'll see like my round today, four over, that's what happens when you, haven't been practicing and haven't been playing. I mean, you, you, the components are definitely there, and I, I suppose that maybe I am a bit frustrated about that, and maybe like protecting myself a little bit, not caring because I actually deep down know that the components of my game are probably as good as they've ever been. I mean, the putter used to always let me down, and it's actually the strength at the minute. So th there are low scores in me, and it's just not possible with with the with the situations I'm in at the minute. So. Yeah, it's a. This is a very strange diary entry. A a little bit confuzzled, and you'll probably find that I will have a better idea, maybe in a in a few months' time, or probably even when I get over to Thailand, because at the minute, yeah, it's just all a bit. Yeah, I I don't care because I haven't been doing it anyway. Sometimes when you don't realise you miss something until it's actually taken away, and that and that might be the case here and do i do love playing competitive golf so i i'd imagine that is going to happen i also hate just turning up though and that could be the reason again why i'm doing i haven't been putting any effort in so i turn up I mean, with my scientific background i stand on the first tee thing and not only am i probably not going to win i don't deserve to win because i haven't done the work i haven't done the the reps as tiger would say to actually deserve the win so again that that might be one of the reasons why I'm not feeling it at the minute. But I, mean, I, I do love competitive golf. Like I said, I've played it for so many years now. Yeah, I think in a few months' time, I will, I will probably miss it. But yes, that's a, a very strange diary entry. The, the times are changing. I mean, I'm right in that limbo period where I know I'm going. Having a few issues with the uni, because as it's summer and... No, nobody's fault but they have conferences and they need to take their own holiday so I'm finding it very difficult to communicate with them so again my head's a bit spinning at the minute so golf my definitely my playing has taken very much a back seat and it has for the last few months so so yeah hopefully that will sort itself out because that at the minute is very important I need to be in a certain position before I go to Thailand if if I haven't really sorted out my data I am going to be one stressed out human being because I'm basically going to need a bit of help and a bit of guidance and I'm going to be the other side of the world different time zones and working full time so yeah that that is a worry at the minute and it's uh there's nothing I can do about it so it, it's kind of playing on my mind but it's also kind of there's nothing I can do, so I'm kind of starting to back burn of that, and it's something I can't afford to do. So hopefully, like it's Friday at the minute, still got a little bit of stat work to do. So I I can I use ball data, so I can do that. But with the Vicon stuff, so like the body stuff, that stuff I do have a lot of work. It's it's going to be intense, and like I said, I can't afford that not to be done, or I need to know exactly how to do it before I go, or I am going to be in a bit of a pickle, but there we go, there we go, this is a diary entry, so I've played my last round, drove the last, par 4, what a man, remember me like that, remember the good, the big, not so much the horrible scores I've had the last two months, remember, I drive par 4. <laughs>